Now we've been watching Mr. Paul O'Grady and his birds in their bras marching through London, and uh, they will be with us soon. But first, time to hear the story of the woman behind the moonwalk. It's bizarre and remarkable. Thousands of women power walking their way through the dead of night in their bras. These moonwalks have raised millions of pounds for cancer charities. But what's less well known is the idea was the brainchild of just one amazing woman. And she was fast asleep when it came to her. I literally dreamt about the bras taking part in a marathon, which was really a big surprise because I'd never actually taken part in a marathon or wanted to. Um, I'd never uh, fundraised and I didn't know anyone with breast cancer. So it was quite a dream. She's so lovely. She's in so November 1996, lovely. that dream became a reality when Nina and 12 others took part in the New York Marathon wearing decorated bras, raising £25,000 for a breast cancer charity in the process. And that would have been that. But then came some devastating news. I felt a lump in my own breast. When I discovered that not only did I have breast cancer, that it was an aggressive tumour that I'd been running around with for maybe three years, I was, I was in complete shock. Pouring her energy into something positive, she decided to organise another brow walk, this time in the UK and during the night. The moonwalk was born. With Nina given the all-clear, the moonwalks now an annual event have gone from strength to strength. Over 100,000 people have taken part, and Nina and the charity she founded have raised £45 million to help the fight against cancer. I'm so unbelievably proud to be married to somebody who has had this incredible effect on hundreds of thousands of people and has raised so very, very much. Can I just say something, first of all? I just feel in total awe and um, very privileged to be in the company of all the prize winner, of award winners this evening because there's just so much courage that is in this room tonight and um, I just feel very honoured to be here. Well, your moonwalk <laughs> brings out a lot of courage in a lot of people as well and that's uh, because of your inspiration. You had some very happy news last week, didn't you? <laughs> I did. I had a, the nine-year-old baby that hasn't got a name. Is the nine, nine, not nine, nine weeks, not day, nine, nine days, <laughs> nine days. The nine-day-old baby that hasn't got a name is mine. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Can I? September's been quite a month, I can tell you. Yeah. Can, I, can I just give you a tip? Don't ask Paul O'Grady to name it, all right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he'd come out with. £45 million pounds so far. Did you yeah. ever, ever dream that it's a colossal amount of money that you could raise that? No, I mean, you know, I, I, I started it as a one-off event um, and it just had this very organic growth and I have to say that it would not be where it is today without the hundreds and, and thousands of people that have walked the walk and really taken the courage and I have to say every time that I open the gates on one of our moonwalks and I see thousands of people standing there in their bras. I think, oh my God, they've trusted me and they've come in their bras. And it's, <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me, but it's really because of them. Um, you know, I'm standing here getting an award, but it would not have happened without the literally hundreds of people, thousands of people that have um, supported us. So for everybody that voted for me, you know, I can only thank you. And to say that we really have made a difference and that our, gosh, you've got a very hormonal woman here. <laughs> that our, our motto of raise money, raise awareness, get fit and have fun is, is really what it's all about. It's about trying to reduce the fear of breast cancer and making people more aware of their body health and to realise their own potential for well-being. 
and to really help people that do have cancer every single that are finding out that they've got breast cancer every single day so that you know in a way what the walk has become a lifestyle and I just thank everybody that has supported that oh. and tonight of course Tonight, of course, is the start of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It, it's it Pink is. October. It is. Pink October. Now, um, there is somebody uh, who has this subject very close to his heart, and he wanted to, to come on stage to, um, to talk about his mum, Barbara, who's been battling breast cancer. So could you please welcome Russell Brand. <laughs> No, certainly. Um, thank you very much, Nina. I'm very glad to have this opportunity uh, to meet you and, you know, all of you to uh, be a part of this wonderful evening. Um, I particularly identify with uh, your cause, Nina, on accounts, as um, Carol said, my mum, years ago now, she's been better for ages. She had, when I was a little boy, uh, she had breast cancer and cancer several other times between the age of uh, five and 17. And uh, it's really, really frightening, like that kind of thing. And what, what I've been struck by this evening is people's ability to overcome fear, this, uni this unifying idea of confronting fear and the <clears throat> incredible uh, courage that we've witnessed tonight and your response to this situation. And that dream, that's proper mental, isn't it, that you had that dream? Because <laughs> oh, I dream about women in bras most nights. <laughs> and yet, so far, not a penny has been raised. <laughs> uh, so... So I, I would like to thank you personally for what you've done. My mum was at the Royal Marsden when I was a lad, and I know you give uh, money to the Royal Marsden, and they've uh, received an award this evening as well. And it's very heartening and wonderful to be among such people, and it, it's very beautiful for me. And I think the best way for me to convey my gratitude uh, in honour of you is I will do breast examinations backstage <laughs> with literally anyone who wants them, regardless of gender. Scrotal examinations as well. <laughs> There's not a body part I won't examine, all in the name of Pride of Britain. So, Nina, uh, thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you, sir. And no charge, was it? No, no, no charge. Well, all night we've been following Paul O'Grady and his hundreds of women in bras, and I know they're here because I can hear the kerfuffle behind, uh, behind the stage. <laughs> so here, uh, with your award, Nina, here are the Moonwalkers and Paul O'Grady. Let's hear it for the girls and the fella. <laughs> <laughs> hey, on, I'm Carly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are they all in? Where's all the girls? Come on, girls! <laughs> This is what the war can that, I just want to say a big thank you to my wonderful team. We're very small, we're less than 20, and we organise everything. And a lot of these people here today are really loyal supporters, which is just fantastic to see, and I'm just overwhelmed. Good on you, Gail. Good on you, Carol. Well, when do we give Nina this? Yeah. 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 Nina, can I have the mic down? <laughs> Nina. I have to... You haven't been a sound, please. Thank you. I have to tell you, Nina, we've had the most... Haven't we had a wonderful night, ladies? We seriously have. I sort of thought, five miles in, in the black... 
after two shows in the lashing rain. But we've just had a great time, and it's been a privilege to walk with you yeah. girls. It really, really has. And what you've done, I'm sorry, it's blown me away. And this is it's so well deserved. Congratulations, Nina. <laughs> We've had a smashing night, honestly. Yeah, we've got me hooked now. We've had a yak, me and Terry, all the way. <laughs> Five mile yak, it's fabulous, honestly. Have you seen Russell Brand's face back uh, no. there? <laughs> 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 I'd just milk. like to say, I have got a bra on, but it's a sports bra, oh, and it's on under here, it? yes. Oh, very yeah, nice. Right. Yeah. Don't tell him. It's strapless. Oh. <laughs> got so me bra is. in case we got attacked. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to see you girls. Now, as you get off, can you do it very gently, please, off this stage? Because there's quite a few of us Why? here. Why? Is this a shoddy erection? <laughs> 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 You were fantastic. You oh, were very come off it, for God's you. sake. I look like I've just come off a market stall. <laughs> I'm a loose but, you know... I anyway. love the way, Paul, I have to say, when they said to you, Paul, will you wear a bra? And you said, me, wear a bra. Like Sorry. you never have as Carol. little savage. <laughs> <laughs> Them days will be army, but unfortunately I need one now. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Ta-da. See ya, Paul.